how many of us sit down and say, but what do I believe? What do I think? What do I uh, put effort in to discover? Hmm? And when we do that, we suddenly meet ourselves. To be yourself, and by that I mean to be truly yourself, when you strip away all the masks you think that other people, you know, should see you like, that is probably one of the most important things you can do for yourself. Because it also, you know, allows you to uh, let happiness and joy flow easier through your life. So, Mo, is that really so difficult and daunting as it sounds? Sadly, uh, the modern world is built on a lot of ego. Ego prevents us from being who we are because we believe that we're not good enough. And the question is good enough for who? But on top of that, so on top of the part where you have to feel or not feel accepted by others, I think it's also very important to find out who you are by knowing who you're not, right? You write in your book about that. You see, that's the whole point. The whole point is you may feel you're not good enough because you are comparing you to someone else that you think is good enough, okay, or you think is better. Hmm? But the truth is that someone else also has things, insecurities in them that make them feel that someone else is better. If you're too tall, you feel that maybe a little shorter is better. If you're a little, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, curvy, you may think, oh, skinny is better. Right? But that's not the truth at all. The truth is you are not your body shape. You're not your title. You're not your age. You're not your role in life. So mother, father, brother, sister. That's doesn't because all of those change in you and you're still who you really are. Now, here's the question. If people are looking at me and they're not accepting me, is that because they don't like who they see, or is it because I don't show who I am because I don't know who I am? So the first point of making you become you is to actually question and ask yourself, is what I'm listening to in my head that's telling me to dress this way or behave that way or say words in this way or move in that way or take a, a shot of me on Instagram in that way, is that actually me or is that what conditioned me to behave like that by society? Another problem is that maybe most people don't know who they really are because they don't know themselves, you know? I mean, we talk to uh, our friends, we ask them questions, you know, because we want to get to know them. But I think the majority of people actually never have a conversation with themselves. How many of us sit down and say, but what do I believe? What do I think? What do I uh, put effort in to discover? Hmm? And when we do that, we suddenly meet ourselves. I'm a being that has its own very unique characteristics that is unlike any of the 7.8 billion others. And until I meet me, I cannot show that me to you. When I meet me, I would be very proud to show it because it's so special, it's so different, it's so unlike everyone else. First, you have to discover your egos, discover what it is that you pretend to be versus what it is that you actually are. And be and honest about it as well, right? Yeah, I have a very simple exercise for, for that, which, is I, which I call undress, which basically is to ask yourself if anything that you do is there for, your, for its utility or is it there for you to, to, have, to be seen by others doing it. Okay? And if you just close your room, your door down and sit in your room and tell yourself, am I wearing those glasses because I want to see with them? Or am I wearing those glasses so that when people see me on, uh, on camera, they think I'm cute? Right. <laughs> but, but, but think of it. Huh? If I'm wearing them before, because I want people to think I'm cute, then maybe I should challenge myself. I say what I say because I believe it, not because I want likes. And once you start to get there, you meet you. And when you meet you, I promise you, you will like you. You will actually be the only one that you like.
Because in reality, none of us is amazing, and none of us is perfect, and none of us is bad. All of us are just us, and us is beautiful. When every one of us lives true to who we are, something amazing happens. We could conclude this part with stating that the first step towards happiness is finding out who you are and being yourself, right? Love that. <laughs>